Dot Gibson, who uh, I think is speaking independently, but sh no, you're there for the National Pensioners Forum. Yay. National Pensioners Yay. Convention, Yay. yeah. Yay. Let, me, let me start off by saying that we have a policy of Generations Unite. And I'm very glad to be standing here with all these young people today because it's their future. And it's up to older people in the National Pensioners Convention to stand up for the young and to stand up for jobs against tuition fees and all the things that are holding them down. They try their hardest to get the pensioners to say that the young are wrong, that they're, you know, they're sort of taking away our future and they tell us that we are preventing them from having any kind of future. So in other words, they divide and rule. And that is what this budget is about, actually. It's what it's about. Because, first of all, they say that the commentators are saying that it's good for pensioners. Well, let me tell you that most pensioners don't pay taxes. We don't have enough money to pay taxes. And so they say we're getting concessions on our taxes. Secondly, they have increased the retirement age to 68. And now they're saying that people who are made redundant before their retirement age are able to take any private pension pot that they've got and take it out as a lump sum. They're asking them to use it to keep themselves during unemployment because they're not likely to get another job. And then when they get to retirement age, they'll have a very low pension because the state pension in this country is amongst the lowest in Europe. And so when they tell us that this is a very good thing for people to be able to take that tax but it isn't. It's a con and a fiddle. Secondly, the other way in which they're trying to uh, use pensioners against others, like those who are on benefits, welfare and so on, is that they told us that they're putting the uh, winter fuel allowance into the welfare cap. Now when we go along and say, well look, the winter fuel allowance isn't enough for us to pay for the fuel that we need, they're going to say, well, all right, but then you have to take it away from others who are on welfare and children's benefits and so on. In other words, this, this uh, budget is another way of dividing and ruling, and we have to call it what it is. So the message, really, for us is that we have to build a really united movement of all the generations against this government and against any government that comes in and tries the same thing against us. We want people who really represent the workers and the students and the youth, the unemployed. And that's what this fight is all about and that's why we're here today. Thank you. Well, thanks so much to Doc Gibson, the National Pensioners Convention, and I look forward to being able to join them when I qualify because it's a fantastic organisation full of wisdom, experience, talent and energy. Don't you not believe that?